Hello everyone, back to into today's uh, first video. So doing the ECMWF uh, 30 day look ahead for today's first video. So as always on a Tuesday, got a month paid look ahead uh, with the ECMWF extended uh, model. We can extend out to weeks five and six with this. Um, we usually stop it at week four. Um, you know, we usually stop this at week four. Um, because it is like a month head look head. We would normally show you weeks five and six um, temperature and precipitation data in the live stream on a Wednesday. Um, but because we're not going to be live streaming tomorrow, we're not actually going to have a live stream tomorrow. We're going to be premiering our winter forecast at 8 p.m. I think we'll actually just extend through the full six weeks of data just this once um, on this uh, video. So, so you're going to see in a moment the full six weeks of data, although officially it is like a 30-day look at. But just this once, I'll show you week five and six or weeks five and six in this um, video. And, uh, and yeah, I shall get on with that for you very shortly. Just say that coming up later on today, we're going to have a 10 to 14 day uh, video update, which will include all our, our regular features. And I think we may do uh, do our first snow watch of the season as well today. So uh, I think I think we've got enough uh, to suggest that there will be snow around towards the end of the week. And I think, yes, we will... Um, we will do an upload uh, for Snowwatch, which you'll be able to see sort of. Uh, so I've got a Christmas update coming up as well, uh, by the way. So I think that's the 13th Christmas update. So really busy day at Gals, where we say it's going to be a very busy day. But I will attempt to do not only a Christmas update, but also a Snowwatch for you um, later on this afternoon and into the evening. So lots and lots of recording going on uh, today, lots of uploads. Uh, right, so website we're using, of course, is uh, from ecmdf.it. Big thank you to them to, for supplying us uh, with charts. And then let's do this uh, then. So we're going to start off with the uh, week one mean sea level pressure anomaly uh, for the Atlantic and Northern Europe, taking us from the 30th of, uh, takes us from the 30th of November to the 7th of December. Um, so, uh, we get, uh, high pressure in the middle of the North Atlantic, a large ridge of high pressure through the North Atlantic, and also over towards northwestern Russia, with low pressure across much of Western and Southern Europe. It means that we're bringing in the wind from, like, quite a cold easterly, or northeasterly, or northerly to northeasterly, or easterly direction. Uh, so yeah, looking quite cold, really, across, uh, many parts, uh, of, uh, Europe, actually, for week one. This is a week one 500 millibar height anomaly, uh, again, taking us from the 30th of November through to the 7th of December. Again, you can see the blocking. We've got a mid-Atlantic ridge here going up towards uh, Greenland. High pressure is also over towards western Russia. Low pressure is across western parts of Europe, or a trough of uh, below average heights, I suppose. Uh, but it is an area of low pressure as well. Jet stream digging southwards uh, as well. So it means that much of northern and eastern Europe is dominated by high pressure, but western Europe is uh, dominated by uh, low pressure and is on the cold side of the jet stream uh, as well. Temperature anomalies uh, across Europe for uh, week one from the 30th of November to 7th of December look like that. A mild of an average week coming up for Scandinavia, but that's pretty much the only place except maybe for the southeastern part of the Mediterranean. Much of Western Europe, from Germany back to Ireland, UK, France, Spain, Portugal, and into the central part of the Mediterranean forecast to be uh, cold on average and very cold across western parts of Russia. Look at those temperature numbers. That's going below 10 Celsius, uh, below average on the temperature on the scale. Overall, it does look as though Western Europe is cooler and Eastern Europe is milder uh, for week one. But even in the east of Europe, it isn't particularly mild, except in very limited and specific areas. Of course, if high pressure dominates across northern and eastern Europe, the precipitation anomaly for week one from 30th of November to be sent for December is drier than average. So a significantly drier than average week coming up for much of northern and eastern Europe. It's slightly wetter than average out in the west. Looking particularly wet, though, are down in the central bowl of the Mediterranean. So like Italy, that central part of Med, yes, there it is looking quite wet. Spain and Portugal look drier and uh, over into the southeastern part, uh, part of uh, Europe it does look a little bit and Mediterranean does look a little bit drier through there. So much of northern Europe is dominated by high pressure and dry. Southern Europe looks quite wet and across western parts of Europe, particularly the northwest, 
Um, so it's showery close to eastern parts of the UK. That's because most eastern winds, of course, drier out to the west. Right, that's week one done then. Let's go through to week two. So this is the week two mean silver pressure anomaly takes us from the 7th through to the 14th of December with high pressure again in the North Atlantic and extending northwards. Uh, also um, over towards Scandinavia as well. Low pressure is covering much of Western uh, Europe as well. So we've got low pressure across uh, Western and Southern Europe. High pressure blocking the normal latitudes winds again are in from an easterly direction. And so it looks like that could be another quite cold week, really. Uh, we'd be bringing again, uh, in, we'd be bringing winds again in from like a northeasterly to easterly direction, and I don't see why that would be quite a cold week. The week two 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. So again, blocking definite blocking signals to the north and to our northeast. Low pressure is to the south. Winds are in from an easterly direction. Um, so, so I mean, for northern, northeastern Europe, it's probably not as cold uh, there because you're under a ridge of high pressure. But across the western Europe, of Europe, and particularly like the, the northwest to the southwest, so from Britain down to Spain, uh, I think it still looks like that could be quite a cold week. Let's have a look at the temperature anomaly uh, for week two from the 7th to 14th of December. We look like this. So, uh, yes, many parts of Western Europe are forecast to be cold of an average island, UK, France, Spain, Portugal, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, and into Western Germany, cold of an average Scandinavia is mild of an average. Many east and southeastern parts of Europe, like through the Balkans and down to the southeast part of the Mediterranean, is uh, quite significantly mild and average there. And then the northeast of Europe looks much colder again as the winds are being pulled in from uh, Russia, of course, into the northeast of Europe. Uh, week 2 precipitation anomaly from the 7th to 14th of December looks like that. North-South split across much of uh, Europe. So, so generally northern Europe from Ireland and the UK in the west over to western Russia in the east. Drier than average dominated by high pressure. You can see where the blocking is. Can't shoot the blocking is all through here and through here. Southern Europe looks like we have lower pressure. So uh, that's where it is wet and average particularly again through uh, much of the Mediterranean. Week 3 means silver pressure anomaly from the 14th to 21st of December. Still hinting at being cold here for many uh, parts of Europe. Again, low pressure. Looks like it's across most of these uh, western and southern parts of Europe and central parts of Europe too. Higher pressure is up here and in the middle of the North Atlantic as well. So it's a weaker signal, but broadly, looks like we are probably still bringing the wind either from a northerly, northeasterly or easterly direction in week 3. Uh, week 3, 500 millibar height on the again, still looking quite cold here with uh, above average heights out to the northwest and also to the northeast uh, of uh, Europe. Low pressure is in the west and the southwest. Again, winds are probably coming in from like an easy direction. For like eastern Europe, again, I think probably drawing up a mild southerly wind, but for western Europe, we could well be drawing down cold northerly or easterly winds. Week 3 temperature anomaly uh, going from the 14th to the 21st of December looks uh, again a little bit colder than average in the west of Europe. Mild of an average over on the eastern side of Europe and much of Scandinavia also forecast to be uh, mild of an average in the Mediterranean from Italy westwards average to below average temperatures from Italy eastwards. So that's really Greece, Turkey, Cyprus. Um, it's forecast to be mild of an average uh, there in week three. And the week three precipitation anomaly, again, hints at a north-south split, doesn't it? So many northern parts of uh, Europe from either the UK and west, over to western Russia and the east, looking a little bit drier than average. Southern Europe, particularly, again, through the Mediterranean, from Spain to uh, Italy, looking wet and average. Also looks wet, uh, or rather wet, through the Balkans, over towards the Black Sea uh, as well. Week 4 means there were pressure anomaly going from the 21st to 28th of December through Christmas. Looks interesting. Look at this. This is uh, this is Christmas week. And it looks like we're indicating a Scandinavian high here. 
with low pressure to the south and winds potentially coming in from the east. So that looks like quite an interesting sort of mean scene of a pressure anomaly for anyone who would like a colder Christmas. For Northern Europe anyway, we should still be bringing in easterly winds there uh, with, with definite signs of a Scandinavian high. Let's have a look at the uh, week. What we can look at? We look at that one. Uh, so let's have a look at the uh, week for um, the 500 millibar height anomaly. Again, going from the 21st, 28th of December. Uh, so low pressure is down to our south. High pressure is up here. So, yeah, we could be bringing in, we could, might be bringing in like an easterly wind. And it does hint, I think, that a little bit of a Scandinavian high. Let's look at the week for temperature anomaly. Uh, it looks like this. So uh, it's a mild average week again for this eastern and southeastern part of Europe. Um, losing the above average temperature across Scandinavia, you'll notice. So cooling down there. Cold and average temperature is hinted, hinted at for Western uh, Europe once again. Uh, particularly like UK, Ireland, possibly the low countries, Denmark and Germany. And the week for uh, precipitation anomaly looks like that. So, so definite signs of a Scandi here. Definite got signs that are going to drive an average across Scandinavia. Um, and just generally looking quite dry across northern Europe as well. That's from all of the blocking. Wettest like across southern, southwestern parts uh, of Europe. That would normally be the end of a 30-day uh, forecast. Because we've gone four weeks out. We've gone 30 days out. But as we're not live streaming tomorrow. As we're going to premiere our winter forecast instead. Let's just quickly zip through weeks five and six data. Shall we? So uh, week five means so a pressure anomaly. Looks like that. Still quite interesting even now. With low pressure cross. Western Europe still hinting at higher pressure up here, possibly bringing in the wind from uh, the east still across northern and western Europe. Week 5, um, 500 millibar height anomaly. Again, looks interesting, doesn't it? Uh, remember, it's going from 28th to the 4th of January as well, by the way. So we're into the new year now. But still with blocking, uh, low pressure through here, blocking with normal latches. Winds could still be coming in from like a northerly or easterly direction. Week 5 um, temperature anomaly uh, looks like that. So uh, for eastern parts of Europe and southeast of Europe, still hinting at being uh, milder than average down here. Still hints at being a little bit colder than average across northern parts of Europe. And week 5 uh, precipitation anomaly looks like that. That's a little bit more unsettled across northern uh, Europe. But it's a very weak signal. Really weak, really weak signal. But perhaps northern Europe going a little bit more unsettled uh, there. And then lastly, week six, mean silver pressure anomaly, which will take us from the 4th to the 11th of January, looks like that. So, um, looks like we're trying to bring low pressure in from off the Atlantic here, but still on quite a southerly track. So, even now, the jet stream, I mean, we've lost the blocking, or lost most of the blocking, but even now, it's not a traditional sort of uh, westerly and zonal setup. Week 6, 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. So, again, low pressure is coming back in the Atlantic, but on a little bit more of a sunny track than you would typically expect. We still have some higher pressure hinted out anyway, up towards Scandinavia. Week 6, uh, whoops, no, we don't want that. Week 6, um, temperature anomaly uh, looks like this. So, uh, much of southern and southeast and eastern Europe, uh, mild of an average, the northwest of Europe has no particular signal for temperature. And then finally, uh, week six, precipitation only from the 4th to the 11th of January. Um, still hints at an unusual sort of pattern, even now. So still a little bit dry on average in the North Atlantic. Still a little bit dry on average in the Norwegian Sea. Wetter than average down here towards the Azores. Not a typical zonal westerly setup, even six weeks out could possibly still be hinting at something a little bit on the uh, colder side. So a very, very interesting EC 30-day uh, look ahead today. Maybe we've gone like six weeks out, but but what an interesting update this is. Looks like it could be in for quite a cold December. And a Scandi, maybe, maybe a Scandi hinted at for Christmas as well. That would be very, very interesting, wouldn't it? 
Uh, right, so if you enjoyed this video, then please give us a like on the video. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think. Make sure you sub to the channel. I'm going to be back later on the 10 to 14 day video update. We've got another Christmas update coming up for you. And I will try, try, try to get a snow watch done uh, for tonight. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll try and get snow watch done for you uh, for tonight for the end of the week. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.